What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Hi, Abby. Hi. Come on. <laughs> what? You can't do that every day. Well, when I look like crap, I want to do that. No. Yeah. No. Nobody thinks you look like crap. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Am I nobody? What are you doing? Doing pictures. I don't need this. I already have one of those in here. What? Fine. We I'll need put this one. We in need there. everything. No. I'm trying to take a really nice photo. Well, then I'm going to have to take another photo of these. There you go. So we're getting new stuff put out this morning. Uh, Ryan's not in yet, but he will be coming in a bit later. He's just, we're doing six hours today. So I don't even know what time he's coming in. One? So about 45 minutes he'll be here. Um, no trade-ins from this morning. We've only had a couple customers so far. It is Monday, so it's going to be a bit slower. But uh, if you guys missed yesterday's vlog, definitely check it out. We did the toy show and everything. I have yet to edit that. I'm going to do that here in a little bit. But uh, it was a good time. We got some cool stuff. Made a couple sales. <laughs> Not very many. But uh, yeah, should be a good day. So we got a package in the mail <coughs> from shipping manager. No, his name's on there. <laughs> from Mike in Wisconsin. And we had a peek inside because we weren't sure what this was. And we're still not sure what it is. I don't think this is something we were expecting. I might know what it is, but I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't look into it. I like just peeked. So there might be something in here that we had made a deal for or bought, and then there's extras because some of the stuff we definitely don't recognize, but we're gonna go through. So first up on top, we have a Bentley CompuVision system. What? In the box. What is that? Beats me. <laughs> some really old system that I've never heard of. Is it like an Atari flashback, but for the- No, this is, this is vintage. <clears throat> Vintage. Don't even see a date on it anywhere. It's definitely old though. Let me see if there's something on the console. But it looks like a. What it looks like to me is like it's a ColecoVision or something like that. 1983. But, but like a, a like a flashback for so the system. So it's like preloaded games. I think it's just a a retro system that is not very popular. But it's all in there. It says that it has tennis, soccer, squash, and solid handball on it. Very cool. Yeah, so it basically is, because look on the side. Wait, stop it. Here. I gotta close it. Give it. So it says that it's a self-contained system requiring no additional cartridges or expense. That's pretty cool. That is cool. We might hold on to that. And we have... A Super Mario 3D World cat ears thing. Cat ears. <laughs> Lego play and build kit. So it's got like stylus, minifig, and then a couple like cases you can put your DS games in. Whoa, this is cool. Mario Kart 64 die cast car set. What? Those are so cool. That's really cool. We're definitely keeping that. We have Spider Girl, Too Many Spiders book. Hmm. Sounds like my kind and of book. And Iron Man book. Uh, that's a graphic novel. <laughs> this is a Wolfenstein 2 countertop standee. Oh, that'll go with our blimp. It's like a miniature, miniature one. That's cool. There's Dark Souls 2, Black Armor Edition. These might mm. just be empty cases, so. Still very cool. No, it's in there. So it's got the soundtrack, but no game disc. That's okay. Looks like there's a bunch of games in here. I don't want to open every single one, so these might be cases. Yeah. All right, so Halo 3 is in there. There's a couple of good ones, so I do want to check now. Marvel Ultimate Alliance and Forza, empty. Diablo 3, empty. Resident Evil 4, disc two only. I think we have disc one. Planet Princess, ah. empty. A sealed Gran Turismo 3. Ooh. Oh, these are all sealed. Sealed Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. That's cool. Sealed San Andreas, sealed Darksiders 2. Uh, these sealed. aren't sealed. This one isn't anyways. It says 
Uh, Beyond video games. Some sealed of them Disney do. Infinity, sealed Trauma Center New Blood, but this is a weird seal. That might be a reseal. Atlas seals are weird sometimes, so who knows? We'll have to look into it. Gears of War 4 gear pack. Uh, that's going towards my tattoo. <laughs> we have little Crash and Spyro like Burger King toys. There's another gear pack thing. Mortal Kombat X Katana figure. Just sold. Is Katana the one with like the mouth thing where she has like covered up like a giant like mouth with a lot of teeth? I don't know. Just sold a Liu Kang at the toy show yesterday that his leg had fallen off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wire or third party Xbox 360 controller, NES RF cable. Don't know what this is. Mystery uh, poster. Ooh. Whatever it is, it's folded in half. It looks like Nintendo. Star Wars Ooh, Battlefront 2. That's cool. These are a bunch of little Star Wars chips with stands. Yoshi Pez Dispenser, <clears throat> which we do have one of those at home. Sierra something. This is Leisure Suit Larry 3 on floppy and five inch. Hmm. Dreamcast. Demo. Sealed Barbie Super Sports for PS1. Oh my god, I've been looking and for that And sealed forever. Barbie Ocean Discovery for Game Boy Color. Yes. Harry Potter, um, what do you call them? Coasters. Ah! Abby will want those. Get. <clears throat> Bag of Nintendo figures. Oh, snap. That's cool. NES Zapper. <clears throat> Street Sharks. Not Street Sharks. That's Lord of the Rings. That's Street Sharks. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It looks like it. Lord of the Rings. Pretty sure that guy's Turtles. Maybe Ryan will recognize him. Ooh. Unfortunately, no. Street Sharks are huge. Yeah, it could be a stranger. Mm. You guys are mean. All right, so <clears throat> we have Donkey Kong socks. And a couple um, Ethernet adapters for PS2. A couple DSi system manuals. Asteroids. ET. And Kool-Aid Man for the Atari. There's one of these little RF switches for 64. And then this is a DSi that is a little ugly. But we'll get that tested up. We have a bag here with an original Game Boy, a DS Lite, a PSP, and a PS1 that all say for parts. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a Fallout 3 art book. Very cool. This is a Star Trek First Contact board figure, which is kind of open. <laughs> and then finally, we have a Pokemon Gold and Silver and Ruby and Sapphire strategy guides. Very cool. There's no note or anything in here, so we don't know who this is from. I'm assuming Michael, because that's what the, you know, Mike, Michael. Mike. That's what the thing says. But uh, if this I'll is from Mike, I'll double check and make you, sure. Mike. If it's not from Mike, thank you to whoever sent it. So we have uh, three more packages to open. <clears throat> this one also does not have a name, but it's coming from Ohio. So hopefully there's a note. Well, the bottom of the ba box is open. Did you open the bottom? Oh, it's halfway open. There is a note from Josh. Hmm. Come on. Yes. 
we have a note. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Dear Abby and Cooper, I thank you for spending the time negotiating with me on the price of my games. I appreciate all the hard work you do for the store and your YouTube channel. You even work on your days off. I admire both of your hard work and your persistence on making your small business great. Thank you again, Josh. Preach. So, we have Factory Sealed Code Realize for Vita, <clears throat> and Defender's Quest Valley of the Forgotten, and Race the Sun. These are, this one's not, but these two are limited run games. Then we have, what is this, Fern's Gate, I think? Um, can we, can we pause really quick? There's some confusion on, we have packages from multiple different Joshes, so that was yeah. <laughs> me. The other two packages we have to open are from one person. His name is also Josh. Abby thought this was from him, but this is from a different Josh. So I think this is Fern's Gate, which is another limited run, sealed for PS4. And then Headlander, Adult Swim Games, but also a limited run. And then Tokyo Mirage Sessions. And then, last one here is Tales from the Borderlands, factory sealed for PS3. Ooh. All right. Good packaging job. So thank you I'll to that card. Josh C. Not Josh H. <laughs> so these last two packages are from another Josh, Josh, Josh H. H. And this is a portion of his collection, not his whole collection, but it's everything from a few systems that he collected for. So let's go through. We you opened said... the right one first because there's a note. Yes, he said to open the smaller one. It says, Greetings, Cooper and Abby. I hope everything showed up safe and sound. Keep up with your awesome vlogs and hope this will help you guys grow even bigger. Ryan seems like a swell guy and hope he ends up being a huge help for you. I hope to one day come visit you guys again. Thank you for everything and hope for nothing but the best for you guys. Awesome. He says that there's a bag, a Ziploc bag. We need to open that first. There's a couple. Oh. We have orange bubble wrap. Hey, that's what he sent last time. <clears throat> and then I sent him a package back with Is that. Is this the bag? I think so. Well, there's, there's three Ziploc bags. Oh. This is all Super Nintendo dust sleeves. What, what? <clears throat> In here is a Dragon Ball figure. Oh, which he's cute. We definitely never discussed that. Luigi thing. And then, this looks like some of the Luigi's like, like your spirit stuff. video game character. Because you're. We have the Animal Crossing Club Nintendo pouch. I'm keeping Very that. Very soft. And then we have. Because you're a giant baby, just like Luigi. These are air fresheners. A Cinnamon Mario one and a Pine Legend of Zelda one. Those are really cool. And then in here we just have cables and stuff. For Those some are really of the cool. Proceeds to throw them off camera. Um, where's the box cutter? Box cutter? I don't know. We pre-cut open the packages. You had it. Is it in your pocket? No. I don't have it. It's right here. Oh. Oh, I had it. We pre-cut open the boxes, but this one is taped up as well. Alright. It's a cute box. So, in here... If I can ever open it, we have Chibi Robo Ziplash for the 3DS with the amiibo. And more bubble wrap in a box. <clears throat> then we have a bag of Game Boy games. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, God. Fine, I'll go through and show them all. There's also whatever this is. Looks like a system. Be careful with it. I'm trying. There's tape all over it. I just pull it out. I don't know, can you? A black <laughs> DSi in the box. And then... A phone call! So instead of showing all the games individually, I'm just gonna do them like this because it's way easier. There's a lot of Game Boy games here. 
Lots of good stuff. There's Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. You guys can pause the video if you need to. I might be going a little quick, but there's a lot of them. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so last box here. We have cut open, but have not looked inside. We know what's in it though, obviously. Lots of bubble wrap. Good, I was just uh, getting a little low on the bubble wrap. I need the box cutter. <laughs> Packed everything way too well. Not complaining. Like each layer is taped. You did a great job. All right. We have Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valencia. Big box. It's open, but it is all there. Oh, is everything box. else like boxes in there? There's this box and then one other. Nice. I like them in there, packed like that. Oh my gosh. Controller. Controller. Did you cut your hand? No. And your finger? Other one? No. Oh. I like when it's packed like this, but it makes it hard to do an unboxing. Because <laughs> I know you guys are waiting, and you don't want to watch me cut open a million packages. But I do appreciate it. It's better than stuff arriving damaged. So we have a black new 3DS XL. Or no. not a new, just a regular 3DS XL. We'll show you what those controllers are for in a minute, and you'll understand why they were, why they were bubble wrapped. Cause they ain't just regular controllers. Bubble wrap is sticky too, like it clings to itself. So this is something that we're adding to our collection. This is the Fire Emblem Fates new 3DS XL. Abby really wanted it. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Then... Everyone can see what that is because it's on the other side of the package. No. No one knows what that says. Oh, come on. Kind of entertaining to watch you struggle with this. No. Nobody wants to watch me cut tape open. Do you? I don't think so. This is also for the collection. They were the Fire Emblem Fates Special Edition, which I was so disappointed that we missed out on when it first came out, because then it was too hard to find. Went way up in price. This is the last thing in the first little box in here. <laughs> Analog Super NT. Come on. 
This is a super awesome Super Nintendo that outputs in HD and it is very expensive. But that's what the controllers go to. So there's that and then we have one more box with all the Super Nintendo games. Box cutter one last time, hopefully. Oh my God, if every game is individually bubble wrapped. <laughs> I will open everything off camera if that's the case. Oh, thank God. Forgot there's 3DS games. Super Mario 3D Land, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, a sealed Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, Pokemon X, Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, New Super Mario Bros. 2, Mario Kart 7, Mario Golf World Tour, a sealed Pokemon Sun, Bowser's Inside Story, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Luigi's Mansion, Ocarina of Time 3D, Majora's Mask, Link Between Worlds, Fire Emblem Awakening, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Pokemon Y, Superstar Saga, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, and then Ultra Moon, Mario Party DS, and Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. So those are all of the 3DS games. And then we have Super Nintendo. There's a lot of them. We have Bonkers, The Lion King, NBA Jam and Yoshi's Cookie, F-Zero, Aladdin, Animaniacs, and Moy Mallard and Cold Shadow. A couple people have been asking about that one. We've never gotten one in. Uh, the Great Circus Mystery, Goof Troop, and Super Bomberman 2. Porky Pig Haunted Holiday, Star Fox, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and Cybernator. There's so many. Brunswick, Dino City, Illusion of Gaia, and Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Tetris Attack, Gradius 3. Mystical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, Super Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, and Donkey Kong Country 3. Supernova. Yoshi's Island. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. And Pocky and Rocky. This one is going to go into the box that we have. We do not have a manual, unfortunately, but there's a box and cartridge now, which is super cool. That's an expensive one. And then we have Super Bonk, another hard to find one. Rocky and Bullwinkle, Super Star Wars, and Mario Kart. Super Mario RPG, Secret of Mana, and Rock and Roll Racing. It's a good little handful. I feel like we haven't had Secret of Mana in a while. Castlevania 4 and Chrono Trigger. Same yeah. with both of those. That's two Chrono Triggers now that we have for PRG. Super Mario World, Super Mario All-Stars, and Turtles in Time. Once again, good stuff. Thunder Spirits, Donkey Kong Country 1, Kirby Superstar, and Final Fantasy 2. And two more stacks. We have Donkey Kong Country 2, Link to the Past, and Super Metroid. People ask for Super Metroid every day, and we never have copies. And the last three, we have UN Squadron, Final Fantasy III, and Contra III. So, I believe that that's everything. Let me take this out just to be sure. Nope. There's... Um, I don't believe that this was, I don't think this is something we talked about. Oh, be careful. 
Oh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, the Super NT comes with Super Turrican Director's Cut, and this is the box for that. I thought it was... I thought it was going to be, like, a different Turrican box. <laughs> but thank you to Josh. That is some awesome stuff. Um... His username is... Vexiant. On, on Instagram. Instagram. Check him out. We'll try to remember to put a link in the description. If I forget, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll post it as a pinned comment. But uh, super nice guy. We've sold tons of stuff to him. And I think we've done some trades and stuff before mm -hmm. too. But uh, he was looking to get rid of some stuff and he wanted us to have first dibs. So we definitely appreciate it. So this little bundle came in here. We have an N64 controller with a good stick. GameCube power cable, which we do need. And then some games here. Tomb Raider. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, Ready to Rumble Boxing for Dreamcast, 18-wheeler for Dreamcast, and Until Dawn for PS4. Xbox game in a fat PS2 with the little mini screen. Let's see if it pops up. Oh, of course I'm gonna drop it. <sighs> Load it up just a second. Hmm. Wonder what it's gonna show. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I don't even know how. But it's doing Is something. It This is an Xbox game disc. Please put it in your Xbox to start playing. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably going to be the last trade of the night, guys. Ryan finished up his shift and went home. And then Abby actually left as well because Costco closes at 830. And it's about 8 o'clock right now. So I wanted to make sure that she had time to get there before they close because our plan <laughs> is to go home. We are going to drink eggnog and we are going to play Moonlighter and just be lazy <laughs> and we're gonna stay up late doing that so we wanted to make sure we had some eggnog and costco right now is the only place in town that carries it it's a little too early for the other places so uh so yeah she is going to grab that and then she'll be coming back to pick me up but we did get one final trade in here so we have a red 3ds with the charger of course we have a copy of pokemon blue version and then we have Dark Souls 3, The Fire Fades Edition for Xbox One, Kingdom Hearts 3, South Park, The Fractured But Whole. We actually have another copy of this already, so that's two of them now. Another copy of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Regular show. This was actually cartridge only, but we had a case for it. Same with Pokemon Y. It was also cartridge only. And then Monster Hunter Generations, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, and Dark Souls 3, Day 1 Edition for PS4. So pretty cool stuff overall. Um, some of these I probably would have passed on. Um, probably the South Park one is kind of a cheap game. I think we had our other one priced at eight bucks. Um, but he wanted store credit. So typically if somebody wants store credit, we're more willing to take some things that if, if it was cash, we'd probably pass on. But cool stuff. I'm just going to wait for Abby to get back. It's, sun it's Monday, so probably not going to have too many other customers <laughs> for the rest of the night. Um, so I'm just gonna probably get this stuff entered in and get the tags printed wait for her to get back and then we'll head home It is time to go home Abby Abby Yo. Time to go 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 I guess Abby's <laughs> paying somebody Paying for that big box we opened <sighs> Hope you guys had a good day we had a pretty good day here at the store, and we're very excited to be able to go home now. Richard stopped in right before we closed and brought back a bunch of stuff that he has fixed for us. Um, we usually don't film that just because he comes in right before closing, and we're like, you know, we're getting ready to leave. And we're, um, we, like, joke around and stuff. Yeah, well, we've always said in the vlogs that, like, oh, we're just going to give this to Richard to fix, and then we never show anything coming back. And we have gotten a couple questions sometimes of, like, does Richard ever bring anything back? He does almost every day. We just don't ever film it. But uh, today, 
he brought back a really clean copy of Pokemon Red version, which had a new battery installed. So we've been waiting for that <clears throat> to go into the box, which it's in the glass case there. You're not going to be able to see it because it's too dark. I have the lights turned off. But we have a complete Pokemon Red now that's out and available. It's in pretty good shape, too. But he brought that back. He brought back um, a Kirby 64 for a customer that wouldn't save. He fixed that. He also brought back a Genesis Model 1 where one of the pins in the controller ports was bent and it wouldn't allow you to push one of the buttons on the controller like it didn't do anything, so that is fixed. Um, he also brought a Pokemon Yellow and a Pokemon Silver with new batteries and then a couple GameCube controllers with new sticks put in them. And I think that's it, right? I think that's it. But, uh, yeah, he's a huge help. And he did create his YouTube channel. He has not uploaded anything yet, <clears throat> but, um, you know, we'll direct you to that when the time comes. Hopefully you guys will show him some support. I know you will. He's commented on one of the videos and already got, like, eight subscribers or something. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. So we're going to pay this guy, and then we'll head home. All right, guys, it's time to go home and play Moo!